Turkey's economic crisis and its confrontation with the Trump administration will have a significant impact on U.S. national security interests in the Gulf region. Since the beginnings of the intra-GCC dispute, pitting Qatar against Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates last summer, Turkey's support for Doha has been a key element enabling Qatar to resist pressure from its larger neighbors. Qatar's reliance on that Turkish connection was on clear display this week. Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad, the ruler of Qatar, rushed to Ankara to become the first foreign head of state to visit there since the beginning of the Turkish crisis. For the Turks, Tamim's visit was extremely timely. Of course, he reiterated the importance to Qatar of the strategic alliance. But most importantly for President Erdogan, Tamim pledged to inject $15 billion into the Turkish economy. That promise appeared to help stabilize Turkey's financial situation. The Turkish lira's recent slide was halted, and it even recovered some of the losses it had suffered in recent days. Continued instability in Turkey, or even the collapse of the Erdogan government, would undoubtedly have a ripple effect on Qatari's stability and its ability to sustain its confrontation with the so-called anti-terrorism quartet, that is, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Bahrain, and Egypt. The impact of a decline in the turkish Qatari alliance, however, would likely reach farther afield to the Horn of Africa. Turkey and Qatar have maintained a significant presence in that region in recent years. Turkey is a particularly important presence in Somalia and has developed close relations with Sudan as well. The Qataris have also been a major presence in the region, including in Eritrea and Djibouti. But the Emiratis certainly aspire to strengthen their presence in the Red Sea littoral. They now control ports in Berber and Asab in Eritrea, as well as the port of Aden in Yemen. Emirati interest in Socotra Island, a Yemeni territory in the Arabian Sea, is probably also related to its interest in strengthening its presence in the Horn and the Red Sea. As a consequence, a weakened Turkey may also mean that prospects for the growing UAE regional role will become that much more realistic.